Thanks, Cheryl. Foundationally, our faith is rooted in history. Some would even say that our faith is undeniably linked with the culture and customs of Jewish history. Sometimes when we read the scriptures, we may not always fully understand the meanings because of our lack of knowledge as to the context of the day and time in which it was originally written. Bible scholar Joe Amaral has delved into the cultural traditions of Bible times, and through the use of expert explanations and creative dramatizations, he guides viewers through significant events to help explain God's written word. Throughout this month, we'll be giving you a taste of what you'll discover through this Understanding Jesus documentary. Today's short excerpt delves into the significance of the Torah and the moment Jesus stepped into the synagogue to read Isaiah 61, a portion of scripture written about the coming of the Messiah. Here's Joe Amaral. And behind me are the remains of a first century synagogue, one most likely that Jesus himself came to. We know the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, were read on a daily basis right here in a synagogue like this. And there's a story in Luke chapter 4 that if we don't understand the importance of the Torah, we don't understand the significance of an event that took place here. And it's so important for us as people outside of Israel in the West to understand the culture and also the Bible that was read by Jesus, and that was the Torah. Now during the time of the Babylonian exile, after the city was destroyed, and the temple was destroyed. The synagogue uh, had a, a different purpose in those times. Today in modern times, it, it's equivalent to, to the Christian's church where everything happens. But at that time, it was just a place of gathering, a place of community, and people came on a regular basis. And Luke says that it was the custom of Jesus on this particular Sabbath to go into the synagogue in Nazareth and to read a certain portion of scripture. And the portion of scripture that he was handed was the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. And many of us don't realize that, that that scroll was handed to him. He didn't go searching through the text. It was actually given to him. And we need to stop and consider why was that particular text given to him on that particular day. So during the exile, the Torah was, was disappearing. Scrolls were being burned. They weren't being rewritten. They were being lost. And the significance that that, that lifeblood of the people was in threat of being gone forever. And so the Torah and the prophets were divided into sections and allotted to families to read during certain times of the year. And that's why Luke mentions it was his custom to go on that day because his family had been allotted the portion of Isaiah 61. And that is profound for us to understand, to know the culture, to understand the importance of Torah in the time and in the life of Jesus himself. And then after he reads, he sits down and if we don't know where he sat, we won't understand the power of that message. But where did he sit? This is of massive relevance to the story, to understand the reaction of the people. Nobody was surprised when he read. Nobody was surprised when he rolled up the scroll and gave it back. But when he sat, we got a reaction. Where he sat is very important. He sat in something like this, known as the seat of Moses, reserved for who? The Messiah. And when he sat down, you can understand the reaction of the people. He didn't have to say anything. Being a rabbi, he did something very rabbinic. His actions spoke louder than his words. And when he sat in that seat, he, he was declaring himself to be the Messiah. I love that. That gives me so much more perspective on that scripture. Well, using the insight of some of the most prominent biblical scholars, along with dramatizations, this documentary is a useful resource for anyone wanting to understand the life of Jesus in a deeper way. Understanding Jesus is our offer to you all this month.